In today's Eye on Health, we're talking about a new word that was born out of the pandemic, mask knee. While we cover our face to block the virus, we are also blocking our pores and trapping dirt and oil. So here with some helpful advice on how to keep our skin looking beautiful for when we take the mask off is HN Dermatology Division Chief, Dr. Charles Mount. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, I think for a lot of people, uh, prolonged periods of time, that's when you're really going to have the problem. Yeah, so, you know, people have been wearing these medical masks for decades now, um, healthcare workers, but for most of us in, in outside medicine and for most people outside the operating room, uh, we're not accustomed to wearing these devices for the prolonged periods that we are uh, as of more recently. So that's part of the problem, causing some occlusion and irritation issues. So tell us what's really happening underneath that mask. So depending on what type of mask you're wearing whether it's a medical device such as the n95s or other surgical masks or if you're wearing something maybe homemade that's made of cloth or other softer fabrics um, on the microscopic level there's initially occlusion of things like your hair follicle and your sweat ducts with the skin cells and oil and this is more common with the unfortunately with the more effective masks such as the n95 and n100s because of that tighter occlusion uh -huh. uh, on the facial surfaces and so you've provided some tips. I mean, we, we all know that we should wash our face, but it's more important now than ever. Yeah, of course. So it's always been important to wash your face at least once a day, uh, probably more like twice a day with all of us having to wear these masks, both at work and uh, in the more social settings uh, with a, something gentle, uh, depending on your uh, baseline skin needs and your sensitivities and your oiliness, or if you have a propensity for being dry. Uh, uh, most skincare uh, manufacturers make foamy or creamy face wash variants and you pick one based on kind of your baseline skin needs. Uh, I have kind of now a PPE take with me <laughs> kit now in my car, um, but you think you should add medicated wipes to that if you need to wash off your face on the go. Yeah, so a lot of things have been around for a, a while. Um, medicated pads such as Stridex, there's other brands that you are available through your dermatologist or esthetician or plastic surgeon where you can purchase online through a variety of different companies. They usually have a combination of something like salicylic or glycolic acid, and they're really handy. You know, they come in the little things we're all accustomed to, these little containers that you could throw in your car, your gym locker, your purse, your gym bag, uh, put it, keep it on your desk at work. and. You know, when you've been wearing your mask for prolonged periods of time, they're easy to pull out and wipe down really quick before you got to move on to your next thing. Dr. Mount, I've seen some great videos circulating on social media where people have their eye makeup done up 100% looking great, and then they take off the mask and there's nothing below. And you recommend not wearing makeup as much as possible. Yeah, as, as much as, you know, your, your ongoing daily life can allow. And, and it, you know, the less makeup, the better, because as we spoke about before, uh, you naturally have things like oil and skin cells, including uh, the pores. And if you add a layer of makeup on there, that's that's all the more physical uh, blockage that it can occur. So, you know, we try to encourage our patients to not wear makeup underneath your PPE if you can, and if you if you absolutely have to, as as little as possible. Now, as we're having a little bit of fun talking about mask knee, but there is a serious issue too, because people, especially in the healthcare field, have to wear masks for very prolonged periods of time. And I've seen some of the serious irritation on the nose and on the face, around the ears. When do you seek medical advice if you feel like you're really starting to have a problem? Well, I think, I think there's a number of things that you can do. Um, less is always more when it comes to, you know, when, we, when we're dealing with having to wear these devices for prolonged periods. So you want to use sensitive products, typically fragrance-free products, because the fragrance can also cause irritation. If you're getting irritation from the friction where the device is, you know, attached to your nose or around the ears, like you mentioned, uh, using some simple things like Vaseline, Aquaphor, things that are petrolatum based can be really soothing and let the skin heal. If you're having a persistent irritated rash, the first thing to probably try is something like hydrocortisone ointment. It's very mild. Um, you can safely use it on facial surfaces for a week or two at a time. And if you're still having trouble, probably beyond two or three weeks, it's probably time to see your dermatologist. And I do have a question about that. You know, we're hearing a lot about uh, some people who are putting off um, non-emergency appointments. Is something like a dermatology appointment something you could do virtually? Are you able to detect issues online? 
Yeah, I think the, the transition um, to the virtual uh, interaction with patients, uh, it, it's, been, it's been a successful, it's been challenging. Um, we can certainly do a lot of good for patients. A lot of the simple issues like the, the mask issues that we're talking about today can be addressed through a virtual visit with your dermatologist. Um, something, it's always better to have an in-person exam, just the clarity, there's no comparison. But for straightforward problems, virtual is always probably the safest and, and probably sufficient. If things don't work out after maybe a one virtual visit, uh, your dermatologist will probably be more than willing to get you uh, evaluated in person. Dr. Mount, thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure being here, thank you. And remember to keep watching for our Eye on Health series here on PTL. It happens on Wednesdays and it's brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield together with Allegheny Health Network for your health.